No matter how fast you can type, there's no way you can chat as fast as you can speak. Or is there? Enter Chat Macros, the way to beat the system and boost your chat efficiency. We offer three different types of macros. Chat Macros, for answering frequently asked questions more efficiently. Push Macros, for sending your customers to other areas of your website. And Download Macros, for files your customers commonly need. Using macros is easy. All macros and commands come with an automatic type ahead functionality. This recognizes what the operator types and suggests macros accordingly. And don't worry, you don't have to memorize all of your commands, only the first letters. Otherwise, simply select the right macro group from your list, then the macro. For chat macros, you can either send the predefined sentence immediately to your customer, or use it as a template to adjust in the input field before sending it out. You'll find push macros under Send URL to send your customers to another page while remaining in the live chat session. Download macros are found under Send Download in the menu. After sending the macro, the customer will receive a link they can click to download the file. Let's see how to set up macros in the dashboard. We had the chat macros first. These short key combinations trigger chat messages of any length. We love chat macros because they save time, increase accuracy, and guarantee consistency. If you want to set up a new chat macro, just click Add Macro. Give your macro a name, type in a text that should appear when you send it to your web visitors, and choose a macro group that it belongs to. We recommend that you give your macro a name that relates to the subject of the message, so it's easier for your team to memorize and find them with the type ahead function. It's also possible to assign a keyboard shortcut if you prefer not to use the macro menu within the chat panel. You can add user-related information to your chat macros by using the placeholder function. This can be a handy feature, or example, to personalize your chat support. This way, you can insert your name or your customer's name into your message. But make sure to keep it real. You don't necessarily want your customers to know that you're using a chat macro as they might feel the personal spirit would be missing from the conversation. To prevent this, set up your chat macro in a conversational manner and avoid words you would never use in normal speech. Now let's take a look at the push macros. Push macros are another variation for answering frequently asked questions. Instead of a predefined message, this macro sends a web visitor to a predefined URL on your website to get them where they need to be. The process for creating a new push macro is more or less the same that we've seen before. Click Add Push to create a new push macro and enter the name of the URL. Keep in mind, if your widget code isn't present on the URL, the chat session will be disconnected. On the other hand, if the widget is also on the page that you push the customer to, you can continue to chat as they move around your website. Select a macro group and save your settings after you're done. Next, we move to download macros. Download macros are a fast way to let you share files with your web visitor that are commonly requested. For example, a contract or a logo. Once you offer the file to your web visitor, it will be available as a download link in the chat window. To create a new download macro, select Add Download in the upper right, then enter its name. Now you can choose where you want the download to be hosted. It can either be self-hosted or uploaded to UserLike. Select the file from your computer's hard drive. The maximum file size for download macros is 3 megabytes. That's it for a quick introduction to our macros. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.